selflessness. To be a person who has ithar lil ghayr, who wishes to benefit others, even if it means that they may have to restrict something from themselves. There's this powerful moment in the life of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, where Ali and his wife Fatima radiallahu anha, the daughter of our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they're living at a time of poverty in al Madina, and a man comes in to the masjid and asks for help and hand up for himself and his family. And subhanAllah, it's at that moment that Ali and Fatima, they decide to give from the things that they need themselves, food that they need, food that their household needs, but they part with it, they give of it. And that's a direct reflection of that hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, you know, where you can save yourself. You can save yourself from the torment of hellfire, from the punishment of Allah for a sin that you have committed by splitting a date that you have in your possession. One date, one particular date that you can share and split with another will be your fortune on the day of judgment. You will never complete and consolidate your righteousness, your completion of faith, until you are able to part from the things you value the most for the betterment of those who do not have it and need it as much. And therefore, it's important for us as Muslims to kind of look at ourselves as being those who are conduits of good, rivers of khayr towards the lives of others. The Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرُكُمْ أَنْفَعُكُمْ لِلنَّاسِ The best of you are the ones who show others benefit and extend it into their lives. The best of us are the ones who leverage good into other people's lives, are beneficial to other people in all segments of society, in all different ways. You may be benefiting in the knowledge that you provide, in the wealth that you share in charity, in the advice that you give, in the mentorship that you have, in the physical strength of helping somebody move. Whatever it is that you have that you are able to contribute, do not hold it back and live a selfless life of altruism and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be the one who rewards you. For that reason, the Prophet ﷺ teaches us to say, Jazakallahu khayra, for the one who we are not able to thank in a material sense, that if you say Jazakallahu khayran, that their reward is with Allah, and what Allah gives, none of us can be able to match.